Welcome to the Third Wind channel. Today we're going to be predicting the knockout stages for the Euros, starting with a round of 16 all the way through to the final. I've made some videos on the Euros uh, before, like I made group stage predictions and I made like a bracket prediction, and you can check those out if you want, but what's the point now that the group stages are over? Let's Let me give my thoughts on the teams and let's predict this tournament. So, Belgium, Portugal, what a game in the round of 16, and I always think you have to predict these things with a few surprises. There's always a few surprises. And this, my friends, is where the surprises begin. Because I think that Belgium's had an easy group, relatively, compared to Portugal. And Portugal, yes, they had some tight games. They lost a game. But they've had a tough group. They've gotten some experience now. I think they're going to carry this this experience and kind of practice into the round of 16. And they're going to show that they are a team, a defending champion to really, you know, it's not going to be easy to beat them. So I think the, my big surprise here is that Portugal beats a Belgium that's had it way too easy thus far. But it won't be an easy game, probably go into extra time, and maybe even penalties. Moving on, we got Italy and Austria. Here, I think there's a class difference. I think Italy has shown that they just dominate their games. They, they don't concede and they score goals. And that's all you really need to do in football, whereas Austria have had tough battles all the way. Well... Not really. They, 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 they've been a bit of a surprise, but I don't think that they have the quality to beat Italy. So, Italy for me. Next, we got France and Switzerland. Um, France have been a class act, but they haven't been entirely consistent. I think that they have a lot of really good players who on their best days win the tournament, um, but sometimes they can be inconsistent. That being said, I don't think these inconsistencies are really bad enough to lose to Switzerland. I think they win this game fairly easily. I'm predicting like a 2 or 3-0, although some sh Shakiri um, shenanigans can always uh, get you through this as well. But yeah, it's, I don't think it's going to happen. Next, we got Croatia-Spain, which is a really hot game with two teams that have seemingly some pretty big flaws. Spain's flaw is definitely their attack, although they won 5-0 or something against Slovakia. That's not really a showing a real result that you should look at because Slovakia were fighting for their life. They would be out if they didn't win or tie, I believe. So if they get scored on twice and the game and the clock's ticking, they're just going to keep trying and that'll end up with them conceding more. But Spain, it's a dull attack. Morata hasn't been great in this tournament. So because of that, I think Croatia are just a little better at attacking, even though if they, even though they can concede some goals. I think that Croatia are going to stun Spain out of this tournament, and Spain are going to really have to start consider considering what their attack might look like for the next tournament, the World Cup next year. Next, we got Sweden and Ukraine. And here, I think it comes down to a difference in will to win and motivation. I think Ukraine have been a little bit unmotivated. Uh, I think Sweden have shown that they are quite consistent, and they are they are the player they're playing with passion. Next, we got England and Germany, who historically in these big tournaments usually end up in like a semifinal or a quarterfinal, and Germany almost always wins, at least in the last like 20 years. Uh, but this time, I think England are going to show that they, I don't know, I think they're going to pull off a surprise win. I know people are expecting Germany to win, but, you know, they can't win every time. That's my argument. It's a bit of a, I know it's a bit of a bad one, but I, I, I believe in England. They can do it. Next, we got Netherlands and Czech Republic. Um, I think Netherlands have more quality. I think that they have similar attacking quality to both teams, but I think the Netherlands is a little better in the back and a little better at the midfield. Wijnaldum has per been performing excellently, and that difference in kind of quality in the players, I think, will show. I think Netherlands wins that one. And then lastly, we've got Wales and Denmark, which is a really difficult game to predict. They both have been quite good in this tournament, but I think that Denmark uh, has been ramping up in this tournament. They're showing a lot of heart. They have some home games, and I think that Denmark wins here. Moving on to the top of the bracket, we got Portugal and Italy. And it's like I mentioned previously, it's really hard to predict what Portugal will do and how, how hard the group of death really was. Italy have been a very powerful team in this tournament, but was their group much easier than the group of death? It's hard to say. Here, I'm just going to go with my gut. I think Portugal is going to win. I think they're going to scrape a win. Um, really sad for Italy, but uh, Portugal, man, they, they just know how to get through these big tournaments. Um, 
Italy has been a while since they've done really well. Next, we got France and Croatia. Tough game. It was our World Cup final, but I think that Croatia has aged a little worse than France because France has a lot of young players and... Yeah, I think we're going to just see France win against Croatia, to be honest. Again, I don't think there's any reason for that to change. Next, we got Sweden and England, which I think is a fantastic game. Both teams are going to show a lot of heart. And I originally predicted England to win this tournament, but I don't see it clicking this year. I don't know if you guys watch the games, but they were not one of the most colorful and exciting teams to watch. They were quite dull. And I think Sweden are going to shock England. It's going to be sad for them. But yeah, let's say Sweden goes through. And likewise in the Netherlands-Denmark game, I think Denmark's heart could get them through this game. Um, another surprise, I know, but how awesome would a Scandinavian final be? I mean, semi-final. But it's a close game. I think that Denmark can definitely hold the zero and maybe score like a late goal in the 70th minute or something and hold the 1-0 and win. I think that might actually happen. Um, although, I'm probably wrong, but I need, there needs to be some shocks. I, I think that this this line, this lower bracket is, is a little weaker, and I think it seems like England and Netherlands are a little more inconsistent. But now we got our semifinals, Portugal, France, Sweden, Denmark. First up, let's talk about Portugal and France. Now, this is the Euro uh, final of the 20... 16 tournament so portugal won that one with a 1-0 win over france we also saw a game between france and portugal in the group of death group f and that ended in a 2-2 draw although to be honest i think portugal were the better team i think france got a free penalty to be honest um and i think portugal have proven that they're quite good at scraping wins so if this game goes the distance again and we get into extra time or penalties. I think Portugal know how to play those games. I think Portugal takes this win. And I know that France are the favorites, but I believe in Portugal here. Next, we got Sweden and Denmark. Who's going to be against Portugal in the final on the weaker side of the bracket? Um, I think passion can only take you so far. And although I really want Denmark to win because of all the things that have happened in this tournament, I think Sweden are going to show their quality. I think Sweden win this one. Um, and we have a Portugal-Sweden final, which is so exciting. Just looking at this, i am it's tasty. But Sweden-Portugal, I have to go with the defending champion. I think they have such a such a colorful team they have improved upon the last euros they have shown that they can survive in the group of death and yeah they, they they're carrying this this uh they've had some practice now and they're gonna bang out belgium italy france and then they're gonna get an easier final in sweden and they're gonna fix it they're gonna fix it it's gonna be a good game but um i think this is gonna be the story of ronaldo's last euro i think he's going to uh, take home one last trophy and uh, I'm excited for it I might I'm probably going to be terribly wrong but just imagine if I get this right what a story that would be right but um let me know what you guys think let me know how wrong I am in the comments below because I know you guys are going to be like oh but France so good oh but it's coming home yeah, yeah, yeah. all right I'm probably wrong I know this but I'd like to thank everyone here for watching Stay tuned for more Euro content. I'm probably going to be super sad in the quarterfinals when I've missed every single game. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon.